Hey guys, Vladimir here with Desktop Makes. I don't do a good job storing my filaments. I just keep them up here on my top shelf in a wide open, no moisture proof container or anything like that. And with certain types of filament, this has come back to bite me. So I wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can regenerate life back into your old filament. You know, if you're as bad as I am and properly storing them. Now, normally this isn't much of an issue for me as 95% of what I print is in PLA and PLA tends to be very forgiving. But if you recall, I'm doing this project where I'm building a battle bot and I plan to 3D print most of it, including the whole wheel assembly. And I wanna do the tires out of TPU, that's that rubber filament. So I have this roll of Ninja Flex, which is just a brand of TPU, and it's been sitting on my shelf for like two years, at least two years. Uh, I grabbed it and uh, tried it out and it was just horrible. Uh, it was bubbly and I was getting poor layer adhesion. You know, I just, just couldn't work with it. It was so bad. Now I know that the problem is moisture. TPU is one of those filaments that will love to absorb moisture if you let it. So I needed a way to dry it out. And I've heard of people putting filaments in their ovens to dry it out. I don't wanna do that and I don't recommend doing that. What I do recommend is a food dehydrator. I've seen that people are having good results with these and it's something I've been meaning to try for a long time now. So it's it's been about time. And I went on Amazon. If you just type food dehydrator, you'll get a bunch of these that'll pop up. I ended up getting this one, it's by Westinghouse and it cost around $55 when I bought it, but I've seen others uh, be as cheap as $35 depending on what brand you go with. I'll go over how I modified this to fit spools of filament and the settings I used in a minute, um, but right now I want to go over the results. On the left here I've got my pre drying printing and on the right is my post drying and you can clearly see the difference i'm printing this on my replicator too by the way with just an acrylic bed non-heated bed now take a look at the close-up view and you can really see the difference there with pre-drying and my post drying here now there's still some room for improvements which i think can be handled by just tweaking some settings but what a huge difference going from this to this Okay, let's talk about how to modify this in order to get our filament spools to fit. The hydrator comes with these plastic grates that you stack up on top of each other in different layers, but they only leave us with about a couple inches of clearance. So in order to get our spools to fit, we have to cut some of these, taking away the bottom part and just leaving the perimeter wall. And then that way we'll have the clearance to be able to fit our spools. A pair of cutters work really well for just snipping away the grate and leaving us with just that perimeter wall. For the bottom layer, you'll want to remove that inner ring just because it's raised and you'll want your filament to lay flat there. And then all you have to do is simply stack these together. In this case, I'm only drawing one roll of filament, so I put the base, one outer wall, and then simply put the top. If you wanted to dry more than one roll of filament, you can just simply repeat that pattern. To determine what temperature and how long to dry your filament, Matter Hackers has a great chart here on their site and I'll include the link below. You can see here they've got it by material, drying temp, and drying time. And while you're there, check out their dehydrator. It's a bit more pricey, but it's also a more polished machine. All right, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. And if you're drying your own filament or you have a way of storing it to keep it dry, uh, let us know in the comments below as well. I'd love to go through those and see what you guys are doing. I'm pretty happy with the way the whole wheel assembly is coming out and I look forward to doing a future video to show you guys exactly how it's taking form. So, all right guys, I'll see you next time. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll be here next week. Take care.